Hi guys again, Alexandra here. Today we're having a look at some of the ways in which you can repurpose your content using Canva and I have left a link for you in the description below if you want to check out some of my courses. So let's get started. To begin with, I chose this article of mine, which is essentially a list of on-page SEO factors. So I have 16 of these factors and I can use any of them to really develop upon them and turn them into different types of content. And I also have a separate section for why on-page SEO is important so I can really take this and turn it into something more complex as well. Now the first and maybe not so obvious thing that you can do is take any of the ideas in your article, for example this section on headings, and turn it into a separate post. So I recommend just taking maybe some of the ideas you already have and placing them at the top of your document. And then you can start working on a new outline and a new draft. Now you can have this as a separate detailed article on your blog or as a guest post on another website with maybe a bigger domain authority. Then another thing you can create is quizzes such as this quiz, do you know your on-page SEO? And you can use this to help people assess the quality of their SEO, see if they understand certain things, and really teach them new aspects of SEO. Now, as you'll notice for this first question, these answers are actually from the text itself. So it doesn't take a lot of time to put something like this together. And at the end, you can add a CTA to your website, your services, and you can really create loads of quizzes from knowledge ones to assessments, personality quizzes, and anything like that. Now, if you go to Twitter, you can actually create polls as well, which are similar to the quizzes I showed you, but you can use them via Twitter, via LinkedIn, or any other place that allows you to display these. And again, you can have something like which URL is SEO friendly and just list your choices here. Select how long you want this poll to last and you will also be able to see the results and follow up with some more tips for maybe people who didn't get the answer correctly. For something slightly more creative but similar to the quizzes, you can use a tool like Genially. Here you can go to learning experiences and really create a visual quiz that looks kind of like this and it's an interactive quiz. So you can use this on your website as part of a blog post or anything like that. And Genially also has other types of interactive content such as the gamification option where you can really create loads of fun elements to add to your own blog posts or independently, including games actually. And I'm just going to show you this example where you can basically ask a question. Again, the question is part of the original article and people can see the answer on the other side by twisting the card. Another obviously simple way to repurpose your article is to turn it into a presentation. And you can have something specific or general such as a SEO one-on-one -on -one presentation, and you know, just edit these templates as needed with some facts, and then you can display them on social media. Or one of my favorite websites to get you some views publicly is actually SlideShare. So you want to look into this, even if you maybe just need some further ideas. Then you can turn your post into an infographic. Now, if you have access to a designer who can help you with this, you can create something that can go viral. If not, you can just build an infographic yourself, maybe using a Canva template, and it can be something as simple as a list of on-page SEO factors, or you can opt for something like an SEO process and just add your on-page SEO factors here as tabs. You can always just build a simple image based on the text you have and then share it on social media as well. Then you might want to turn your post into a video, like I did, for example, with this article on writing an article introduction, which I actually have as a blog post, first of all. And really, you can find loads of other ideas in your post. For example, 
in this case, you can just have a look at other articles and maybe show how people can find H2s and how they can see how other websites have optimized their own articles and really go through the entire list, maybe show people how they can optimize their own article and just get as creative as possible while also making sure you are sticking to the best practices of YouTube if this is where you are going to publish your content. You can then reuse some of the videos on TikTok, on Instagram as Instagram Reels, or just on YGTV. Again, you can create a simple list of tools or maybe an interesting video similar to TikTok and just reuse the content from Reels to TikTok and back and forth. As you are recording these videos, you want to also get the transcription of what you're saying. You can use a tool like Otter AI or maybe the tool you're using to edit your video already has this option. And you can use these transcriptions for other blog posts, podcasts, newsletters, email sequences, anything like that. Now, other ways to repurpose your content are to turn them into a Pinterest post. This is one of my Instagram posts, which I can always reuse and turn into a list of on-page SEO factors. You can hold a webinar or just a series of Q&A sessions. Another super good idea is to gate your content and turn it into an ebook. Now you can give the ebook in exchange for an email address or offer it for free. And then within the actual ebook, you can offer something like I did here with this on page SEO checklist, which again, I repurposed from the original post. People can get this in exchange for their email address or maybe a share, anything you need to get to your goals. And of course, you can always just repurpose the content into a social media post. For example, I can take these benefits of optimizing your pages and turn them into a Twitter thread, like five benefits of SEO optimization. And then I'm adding one more tweet. And this can be just simply copying it from here. And I'm really doing this for all of them. You can also maybe use emojis instead of numbers. And really at the end, you can also add a link to your original article if you want to keep people maybe on your website. And once you click on tweet all, you will get something that looks like this. You can always add a couple of hashtags, two or three, if you don't already have a network. And you can take the same ideas on to LinkedIn. Now, what I like to do for LinkedIn is try to make a longer post so I can copy this and instead of my title, I'm going to write something like how to ensure your URLs are SEO friendly. And then I'm just going to edit this a bit, add three hashtags at the end and publish it. And really the ultimate level of repurposing content is to run your own survey research create a report or a case study, publish that, and you will get loads of backlinks in return, bringing more traffic and mentions to your own brand. Also keep in mind, if you're using Canva, that you can just search for something like SEO, and you get a couple of ideas here, like mind maps, charts, anything like that, that you will find useful. Now remember to get creative, as long as you have the resources, you can create something as amazing as a report, a game, or a side project even. You can always just stick to the basics of reusing them as podcasts, social media posts, videos, webinars, anything like that. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment if you have any question, and I will see you in the next video. Again, you have links to some of my courses in the description below. Till next time, take care.